Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. I might just have done something foolish. Now for anyone who knows me well, this revelation isn't going to come as a massive surprise. It's more a question of what foolish thing have you done now? But today I just want to talk a little bit about bike fit. If you watch these vlogs regularly, you'll know that I have two bikes that I ride. Now I've got a, a Trek Madone 4.9 that's about five years old. And I've also got a Cannondale Synapse, which I bought back in November. When I bought the Trek, I had a bike fit done and it worked out really, really well. The, it, it fitted me perfectly and it's a real absolute pleasure to ride. By contrast, I didn't get a bike fit when I bought the Cannondale. I thought, well, I can probably work out how to size it to fit me myself. But uh, after months of trying, uh, I, I just had complete failure. So I went and had a professional bike fit done. So that happened a couple of months ago and the, the, the it fitted me quite well. I did have a few issues with my knee, but all in all, it, it, it fitted me quite well. Then I swapped over to my Trek, which is my summer bike. Uh, and I noticed that the fit on that was just so much better and I couldn't really work out why. I got the tape measure out, started measuring things up uh, and indeed the measurements were slightly different. So the foolish thing that I have done recently is tried to match the Cannondale to the bike fit on the, uh, on the Trek. Now, before I did this, I did take note of the positions of the saddle fore and aft position, the saddle height position, and the, uh, the handlebar positions. Uh, and essentially what I did first of all was uh, moved the seat pin up ever so slightly. It was, it was almost there with the, uh, the bike fit I had recently, uh, and I only needed to adjust it by maybe one or two millimeters. Uh, and then I moved the saddle forward a bit so that my relative position with my legs over the pedals was very similar to the Trek. And then I took it out for a test spin. And lo and behold, everything felt really, really good. Now, riding the Cannondale has always felt like I've been riding a very big bike, even though the frame size is exactly the same as my Trek and I couldn't really work out why this was. But when I was putting the Cannondale away, I parked it next to the, the Trek and I noticed that the handlebars on the Trek were much, much lower than on the Cannondale. So I thought, right, that's my answer right there. So I immediately went about lowering the handlebars on the Cannondale. Due to the geometry on the Cannondale, I was not able to get the handlebars quite as low as the Trek, but I took out all of the spacers on the stem and lowered the handlebars as much as I could. So I'm now probably, you know, about two or three centimeters higher on the Cannondale than I am on the Trek. Uh, and then I took it out for another test spin and the position is just absolutely fantastic. So. I've, I've gone from liking the Cannondale to absolutely loving it. The position is just perfect now. I'm still getting some knee pain, but I, I get that on the Trek as well. So I think that's a completely different issue going on. So that might be cleat positioning. It might be something to do with the fact that, uh, that I'm turning over much higher gears than I need to. I might just have some kind of weakness in my knees, who knows, but that definitely needs to be investigated. But I don't think it's down to riding the Cannondale or riding the Trek. As I say, I get knee pain regardless of whichever bike I'm riding.
Now I know I'm gonna get some comments about not slamming the stem completely, um, but I've decided to leave it as it is because uh, I'm not getting any younger. Uh, my flexibility is probably not going to get any better. So there might come a day when I will need to raise the, um, the handlebars up a bit. I did see an interesting meme recently about judging the age of cyclists by the height of the stem. It's a little bit like uh, counting the rings on a tree trunk. You just count the, uh, the number of spaces on the stem and that gives you a rough idea of the age of the, uh, the bike's owner. So like I say, I'm gonna leave it for the minute uh, and see how I go. The more eagle-eyed of you might have noticed that on a few of my rides I've been wearing the Jolly Good Velo cycling jersey. Now these are jerseys that I've designed and manufactured myself, mainly because being a larger rider I struggle to find jerseys and shorts and cycle clothing that are large enough to fit me. So with that in mind I found a company that, that make jerseys in a range of sizes uh, they're also a very generous kind of um, relaxed fit cut. So uh, the jerseys that, that I've got at the moment um, will fit just about anyone. They go from extra small right up to a 6XL size. And if you want to buy one, just email me at leonard at jollygoodvelo.com and I can tell you how to do it. Unfortunately for me, it's been another fairly busy week this week. Uh, I've been working away, so I've not really had much opportunity to get out and ride the bike, but I have been out and I've done a couple of rides. Like I say, uh, I've, I've been out doing some test rides with the new position, uh, but there's not really been any sort of long distances that, uh, that, I'm going, that I've done this week. But uh, hopefully that will change in the not too distant future. I've got some time off coming up uh, and one of my objectives is to go out and ride another 100 kilometers. I rode the Isle of Wight round in a couple of weeks ago uh, and I'm thinking just to keep the momentum up there and keep my fitness in because it is so easy to lose fitness if you don't do anything. So there we go, that's how it's all rolling this week. If you're training for a particular cycling event, please tell me all about it in the comments below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.